Altaria, uh, basically be prepared for a Dragon Dance Sweeper. Um, once again, Ice Shard is a good way to deal with this, the same way you would with Sceptile. Unfortunately, um, since it does turn into a part fairy type, your other dragon types are going to be unable to counter this the same way they would a regular Altaria. Uh, fortunately, it's actually pretty slow at base 80 speed. That's that's above average, but for the types of threats that we're dealing with here, not that fast. Um, but it is quite bulky, so just something to keep in mind there. You're going to want to use Ice Shard. At the very least, uh, Metagross can come in on basically anything Altaria wants to do besides Fire Blast, and even Fire Blast won't want hit KO. So Metagross can handle Altaria quite handily there. And of course, Bennett has access to Prankster when it Mega Evolves, and its attack goes up obscenely high, so just be prepared for either Priority Destiny Bond, that way it's trying to take something down with it. And of course, if it uses Destiny Bond and you KO it, the person who uses Destiny Bond will get the win for the round. So just keep that in mind if your opponent's last Pokemon is Destiny Bond, uh, has Destiny Bond rather, because um, I think uh, several Pokemon in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have Destiny Bond. So certainly consult Bulbapedia or Cerebi just in case you're wondering who those Pokemon are. Uh, I would definitely carry a Pokemon that has Toxic or my own, your own um, Will O Wisp Pokemon because of Pokemon that have Destiny Bond. Then you won't necessarily activate uh, the Destiny Bond and have your Pokemon taken out. Now, Pinsir and Heracross, of course, they kind of go hand in hand, uh, but from Pinsir, please be on the lookout for those Aerial A boosted attacks. Uh, they hit very, very hard, and when he Mega Evolves, his attack stat goes really, really high. So, uh, even when he doesn't boost it with Swords Dance or something like that, which is what I think you would expect from a Pinsir, um, hitting pretty, pretty hard there. But fortunately, he is relatively easy to wall. Now that he's a Bug Flying type, of course, steel types wall that pretty handily. Um, me me Mega Metagross is not necessarily a good counter, but it is a, a relative check just because uh, it can take a couple of the hits from it and hit it back with Rock Slide if it needs to. Uh, and then besides that, it is susceptible to being Burn and other status ailments. So Pinsir still has the same ways of being of checking it as before. As is Heracross, Heracross is a little bit easier to handle just because it's so slow. Um, and uh, there are several different ways to handle uh, Mega Heracross, and one of them is Mega Pinsir, just because Mega Pinsir has priority flying attacks that are difficult for Heracross to get around. Now, of course, if you don't, don't want to use either of those, uh, you can definitely use Swellow, which is faster than both of them and can obliterate them both with Brave Bird or Crowback and also fill that role as well. Glalie, I think, is going to be a popular choice just because of Ice Shard and that really, really powerful Refrigerate Reboosted, uh, Reboosted, Refrigerate Boosted Explosion. Um, that's just kind of difficult to have a Pokemon take. Uh, even if you resist it, like Mega Metagross, you're still going to take around 40% um, from an adamant, full, uh, fully invested Gla Mega Glalie's Explosion. So. At the very least, again, a Pokemon with Protect, you can bring that in and Protect on the Predicted Explosion. Uh, Glalie does also, I think he's the only thing in Omega Ruby and Alpha Cyber to have access to Ice Shard, which is useful for dealing with all sorts of threats here, whether it be any of the dragons or um, any grass types that you might have issues with. So just be prepared to deal with that. You might also see it running Freeze Dry, which has some coverage on the water types that are prevalent in the Hoenn Dex. Um, but that means that the best way to deal with it is just to bullet punch it in the face, whether that be with Mega Medicham or Mega Metagross, or um, you can also sucker punch it since it's not really that fast at base 100 speed. Um, something like a Mega Absol gets access to sucker punch it is much faster. So just a few ways of dealing with it there. One of the most popular Pokemon, of course, that is going to be used is Mega Salamence. Similar to Mega uh, Mawile, it was banned pretty early on, and Salamence is just so powerful in its new form, uh, also getting access to Aerial Aid, of course, to boost the power of its flying type moves and turning normal type moves into flying. I've seen a numerous amount of different sets with Mega Salamence, and I would say that Priority Burn would be a way to deal with it, but a lot of Salamence run Facade just because of that. Uh, and so your best bet is going to be Ice Shard. So if you aren't planning on running a Mega Glalie and you just really want to make sure you have a Salamence check, 
I would consider having uh, Ice Shard on Glalie. Or if nothing else, run a Scarfer um, that can utilize a Dragon type attack. Since there are only four fairy types in the t in this dex, I believe, you're relatively safe running um, a Scarf Dragon type attack. But uh, Salamence, of course, has access to Dragon Dance and it has a number of coverage moves, so just be careful dealing with it. Um, if nothing else, you might want to run Focus Sash on something just so you can make sure you can get a hit off on it. I've already spoken about Mega Metagross a good bit. When he Mega Evolves, he gets access to that Tough Claws boosted Bullet Punch, which can hurt quite a bit. Bit. Even with Bullet Punch only being a base 40 power move after the stab and the Tough Claws boost, then you're talking about uh, a good bit of power there. So just be careful with that and be sure to try to hit him on a specially defensive side just because his defense is so massive. Um, it might be a little bit difficult to break through uh, on the defensive side. So you're going to want to use Fire Blast, of course, something like uh, Mega Camera Up can easily take a hit from Mega Metagross and hit it back. Uh, you can burn it, of course. Mega Metagross doesn't have any way to deal with uh, status ailments, and I don't often see them running substitute, so burning is good, typically a good way to go when it comes to Metagross. Now, as far as Latias and Latias go, I don't think we'll actually see very much of these Pokemon used as Megas, just because they're so good in their normal form, and again, similar to some of the other Pokemon I mentioned, people will not want to waste their Mega slot. Now that being said, uh, they get sizable boost after they Mega Evolve, so I can see why people would want to utilize um, that, but they're just, you counter those the same way you would when they aren't Mega, and fortunately since they uh, have that Psychic Typing, you can use Shadow Sneak and Sucker Punch on them, and they have no priority of their own, so they're very susceptible to that. So priority is going to be very important in this uh, tournament. Now with all that being said, um, there are a couple of Pokemon that uh, are in that same line. I don't think we're going to see Mega Alakazam at all, especially because it loses the uh, uh, Magic Art ability when it Mega Evolves. And that's really the main draw of using Mega Alakazam. And um, uh, getting Trace is pretty good. I just don't think we'll see it that often. You're, you're more likely to see a Focus Sash Alakazam than you are to see a Mega one. Um, same thing with Aggron. There aren't that many Steel types in the decks there. Uh, and Aggron did get a couple of interesting new tools in the form of some of the elemental punches and, of course, uh, Super Power and Low Kick. But I don't think we're going to see that one that often either. He's just kind of outclassed by other steel types, uh, namely Medi Mega Mawile. So. Um, and then lastly, of course, Absol. Uh, you may see it just because of how strong that Sucker Punch is. But other than that, it's kind of... Um, I really like Absol. It's just a little bit underwhelming in the face of all that priority and then he has these defenses so that's just a little bit of a take on the mega pokemon you may see in this tournament uh if you have any comments that you think i missed anything or you just want to mention something please leave it in the comment section i'll get to those as soon as i see them all right guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye bye now